this is going to be a quick video, so I'm just going to jump right into it. This is Psalms chapter 19. Uh, Psalms means song. To the chief musician, a song of David. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he hath set a tabernacle for the sun which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. We're going to go back over this, because literally, day unto day uttereth speech, I have no problem accepting this. Uh, any of you who have been with me from the beginning, that have seen my video letters to Joan videos, then you know that I had an experience, literally, where the sun was talking to me. Literally. And night unto night showeth knowledge. Uh, you can't see the stars in the day. You're blinded by the light of the sun. So you have the speech of the sun. But in the night, the stars are the knowledge. That's where it all is. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. It's embedded in everything. It's If you read the Bible with alchemical terminology, uh, it's a whole new book. When you look at alphabets and languages as uh, alchemical sigils instead of the concept of an alphabet, uh, each letter has so much meaning beyond what we call a word or a collection of sigils. Uh, their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the worlds, the ages. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. The sun, which is a bridegroom. The sun is the bridegroom, coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a wet race. His going forth, his, the sun's going forth, is from the end of heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. These are all upper chakra terms. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes, upper chakra. The fear, that should be awe, A-W-E. The awe of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous all together. All together. To get her. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than the fine gold. Usually it says fine gold of Ophir. You'll see that more than fine gold many times in the Bible. Um, this is the one time that they don't use the word Ophir. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. That's that uh, land of milk and honey. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. And in the keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his arrows? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. It just, it should be presumptuousness. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. That's a very interesting term there. 
the great transgression. It's like in the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, uh, to keep us from the evil. Uh, another example, um, I will send them strong delusion to cause them to believe the lie, which is the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. The meditation of my heart, the contemplation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. This is all upper chakra terminology. Every bit of it. Alchemical upper chakra terminology. Uh, knowledge we uh, attribute to mercury your intellect uh, your heart chakra is venus your crown chakra is saturn it's all here in this one tiny little song we are now in isaiah chapter 40 i'm just going to do the whole thing because i don't want to take it out of context but I am going to target a couple of verses. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her, that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain shall be made low, and the crooked place shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord have spoken it. One, this is what I'm seeing that's going to happen. This right here. That all flesh will see it together. I'm going to pour out his spirit on all flesh. Uh, the voice said, cry, and he said, right. All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as a flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion, bringest thou good tidings. Get thee up into the high mountain, O Jerusalem, that bringest good tidings. Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Ju Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand, and his arms shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with young. Who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and meted out heaven with the span, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor, hath taught him. With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast offering beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. To whom then will ye liken God, or what likeness will ye compare unto him? The workman melted a graven image, and the goldsmith spread it over with gold, and cast its silver change. He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooses a tree that will not rot, 
he seeketh unto him cunning workmen to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Ye have not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall blow upon them, and they shall wither. And the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high. Behold, who hath created these things? This is the heavens. Lift your eyes up to the skies. Who's created these things that bringeth out their host by number? He calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for he is the strong in power. Not one faileth. The same thing we read in the last one. Every one of them has a name just like we all have names, because they are us, and we are projected down here. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, Jacob, and speakest Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding." He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. We are now in Genesis chapter 1, chapter 1, but I'm going to start at verse 14. And God said, let, remember he creates by let, not do, but let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, for symbols, for icons, for logos, for images, and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also and set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Proverbs chapter 4 Hear ye children the instructions of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, and saith unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. What are his commandments? Which God are we talking about? Which law are we talking about? We're talking about the creator of heaven and earth, not fire and water. And his law is love one another. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. When you've done this, you have fulfilled the law. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, wisdom, her. And she shall preserve thee, love her. And she shall, get th she shall keep thee. They're trying to get her. Remember, together is to get her. Wisdom is the principal 
thing. Therefore get wisdom, that wise dumb, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor, when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory she shall deliver unto thee. This is all about getting our crowns. Uh, this is a really condensed version of an eight-hour lecture I had planned for the eclipse. I'm just breaking it down as fast as I can for here for you people. This is Proverbs chapter 25. These are also Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Remember the last video I did was about the kingdom. The king and his dominion. Seek ye first the kingdom. That's your crown. Your kingdom. Your crown chakra. The height for, for uh, to search out a matter. The heaven for height. The earth for depth. And the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver. And there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of great men. For it is, for it is, for better it is that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, than thou should be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive. Let me back up to come up hither. That means come up to the upper chakras. Come up to that crown chakra. Uh, go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another, lest he that heareth put thee to shame and thine infamy turn not away. A word filthily spoken is like apples of gold in pitchers of silver. It's not just what we say, it's how we say it. As an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. Uh, some people don't like to be corrected. They take it as an offense. They take it as an assault, an insult. And uh, they're unable to take the correction. I would be a poor teacher indeed if I did not correct you when I see you in error. Uh, some people take that as arrogance. Uh, I assure you, there is no arrogance in me. I know exactly how lowly I truly am. I am the least, like Paul said, I am the least among you all. I am a greater sinner than you all. And it is from my sins, my leastness, my mistakes, my errors, my faults, that I have learned this. I choose to share it with you, hoping that you avoid these pitfalls, errors, sins, and faults that I've committed to learn this. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refresheth the souls of his masters. Uh, as a teacher, uh, I would be a poor one indeed if I did not expect my students to outgrow me. You need to learn what you can from me and move along because there is a teacher far greater than me. I only want to introduce you to him. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show you where he is and how you get there. Whoso boasts himself of a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. 
By long forbearing is a prince persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bone. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. You can only take in so much knowledge at a time. If you overdo it, it j you just regurgitate it back out. That's all you can do is just regurgitate it back out. You must understand that honey, that sweetness. So take what is sufficient for thee. It's like I've said, I prepared a table before you. Eat what you like, what you don't. Just spit it out. I will not be offended. I know that we're each on our own path. We're all running a race. We're all headed in this, to the same destination. Uh, but we're in different places on that race, and some of us are on completely different roads on the race. Uh, so you eat what is sufficient for thee. I don't believe in forcing anybody to eat what they don't like don't want, don't need, or cannot bear. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee, and so hate thee. Yeah. Uh, nothing is worse than uh, a, a guest that stayed too long. It's like fish. After three days they begin to smell, huh? A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow. Confidence is an unfaithful man in the time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. As he that taketh away a garment in cold weather and as vinegar upon nitre, nitra, so is he that singeth songs to an heavy heart. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. If he be thirsty, give him water to drink. This is not your children. This is not your neighbor. This is your enemy. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, said the Lord, and the Lord shall renew thee. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance of a backbiting tongue. It is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. I felt that way about my mother. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man falling down before the wicked is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat much honey. So for men to search their own glory is not glory. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down without walls. To have rule over your own spirit is your own emotions. That's starting at the root chakra. It's your own emotions. The battle is within you, not with your neighbor, not with me, not with knowledge, not with understanding. The battle is with you and yourself. Mark 8.34 when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew sixteen twenty four. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Luke 9.23 And he said unto them, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. I can only give you your crosses, show you where they're at, show you how to find them. I cannot carry them for you. Many of you want that. You, you, you want me to give you your cross and then you want me to carry it for you. But that's not how this works. This is your race. It's your crown to lose, to either to find or to lose. It's your cross to carry. 
Uh, your cross is your burdens in life. It's your path, your destiny. It's your path, your pillar, your cross. It's your journey. If I give you all the answers, then you're not doing the journey. And you will really learn nothing. Because the learning is in the experience. If I tell you, then it's no more than you, than you reading a book or watching a movie rather than living the experience. It's all about the experience. And only you can have that experience for you. I can tell you, I can show you, but it's up to you to make that journey from your root chakra to your crown chakra to that land of milk and honey to get your crown to be your own sovereign, to be your own king, to search out the matter of a thing, to get that wisdom, to get that understanding, to see him face to face. We're all going to be given this opportunity. Uh, I don't know when, I don't know, I know where, and I know how, but there is, there will be this Pentecostal type event where he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Let's go there. Uh, you know, it's crazy how many times in the Bible we're actually told this. It's not just New Testament. It's Old Testament. There's more about it in the Old Testament than there is in the New Testament. Acts 2.18 and on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Isaiah 44, 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offering. Joel 2, 29. And also upon thy servants and upon thy handmaidens in those days I will pour out my spirit. Proverbs one twenty three, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. He does this. When you, when you get that crown chakra, when it opens, his spirit is poured out on you, and his words are made known unto you. Joel 2.28, And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Acts 2.17 And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Joel and Acts literally mimic each other. Then you get the pouring out of the vials of the wrath and the pouring out of indignation. You, we're supposed to pour out our hearts. He's going to pour out his fury. But it's Old and New Testament. But this is what's coming. This is the event. But you're going to need, it's better to have your crown before this happens. You, you can get your crown when this happens. Everybody's going to get one. Some of them are going to awaken to shame. They're not going to get a crown chakra because they're going to open in the lower chakras. And they're going to be sitting on their crowns instead of them on their heads. All right, I'm going to end it in Proverbs. And this is also going to be your homework. It's going to be the book of Proverbs. The whole book. And I'm going to start with verse 20. Wisdom crieth out. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In this city she uttereth her words, saying, 
How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you, because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have said it not, all my counsel, and would none of my reproof, my correction. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you, when your fear cometh. Uh, when you have that wisdom, when you open that crown chakra, you don't, you're not afraid anymore. You're not afraid of anything. It, it, fear is part of that root chakra. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge did not choose the awe, not fear, awe of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised my reproof. They shall eat thereof of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Get knowledge. Get wisdom. With all you're getting, get it. And it's within you. And you start at the bottom. And you, you put the, those reins on those horses and you take control of those chakras instead of them ruling you you rule them you take up your cross you follow him you obey his law you love the lord your god with all your heart your soul your mind you love your neighbor as yourself you give your enemy food and water you do the right thing. And you don't need to be told what's right and wrong. You already know. It's in your heart. Look within yourself. The answers are already there. You were born with it. It's just you, you, don't, you don't want to know it. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? She's in the chief places. She's crying out. Can you hear her voice? It's everywhere. It's all, like the Gospel of Thomas says, it's all around you, and it's within you. There's nowhere that it's not. Uh, creation testifies of it. The stars testify of it. There's nothing that doesn't testify of the glory, the knowledge, the wisdom. Turn you at my reproof. Turn you at my correction. And look, look, I will pour out my spirit unto you and I will make known my words unto you. Not me. Not me making them known to you. Wisdom herself making them known to you. I can only give you so much. I can only show you the way. I can only tell you how I understand it. And I know that's not for everybody. But fear not. Uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 6. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign showest thou then, that we may see and believe thee, that thou, thou what thou, dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, and it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. 
For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Jesus answered and said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Seek ye first the king and his dominion. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. Here's what's important. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down, whoa, for I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. These two. Everybody's on their own path. And we're all going to get there. Some will be carrying a cross. Some will be on a path. Some will be on a pillar. But we're all going to get there. All but one. All but one. No man can come to me except for the Father which has sent me draw him. You wouldn't even be looking, curious, interested, if you weren't to be drawn to him. And I will raise him up at the last day. That's your last day. That's the day you die. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. Every man thereof hath, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me have everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which come down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give him is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Truly, truly, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. There's that Son of Man again. Not Son of God, Son of Man. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, I live by the Father. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth this bread shall live forever. When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Does this offend you? What? And if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before. It is the Spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. <clears throat> but there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my Father. No man. You wouldn't even be on this channel if you weren't on this road. And all that the Father giveth me, I lose nothing, save one. This is the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 12. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, 
and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Save all but one. And he will raise all but one up on the last day, on their last day. All right, your homework is going to be the entire book of Proverbs. You can do it one chapter at a time. I, I encourage you to read it several times, not just once. Take notes. It will help you. It will encourage you. It will help you carry your cross. It will help you on your path, on your way. A lot more than I can in just a simple video. It's your experience, it's your journey, it's your life. Go live it, go do it. It can be wonderful. It is, it's the only joy I've found in this place. I hate being in this, in this age. It's horrible. It's horrible here. But there is joy there, and there's peace and comfort and understanding. There's no fear there. You just become more and more in awe of him. And when you open your crown chakra, then you're just without words. You can't even describe it. You just, can, I, you just have to experience it. And only you can do that for you. All right, people. Um, I'm going to leave the link for the Signs and Wonders podcast. Uh, that is the pet project. All that money goes to the alchemy deck that we're creating and all that goes in it. And, um, what else do I want to say? Let me pause and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay. Uh, we're not getting a lot of response on, um, the powwow. So I'm assuming that a lot of you just don't want to go or cannot go or whatever. So we're scaling it way back and I'm eliminating the lodge. So we won't need deposits for that. Uh, which we had more than 20 people at the other one, so I would assume it would be benefit that we could save a lot of money if we all pitched in and got one big lodge instead of everybody trying to stay in what small amount of hotels are in the area and then having to drive so far. Anyway, it is what it is. So those of you that are interested in coming and want to join this, uh, it, five, ten dollars every little bit helps out we'll get these deposits we'll save our spaces and if if you just want to jump forward and uh be generous if you can afford to be generous and uh, help out that would be great uh, but there's no profit in this there's no there there's nothing even even as the eclipse thing we did there's not even a love offering if you want to give and be a part of it, uh, it's it's free. You'll have to buy your stuff for the powwow and all that. But what we're doing, it's just going to be for us. And it's at cost. There's no profit to be made. Uh, we're going to have at least one day at the center. I'd like to have uh, two days. But if it's just one day, then we're going to take the other day. And on the first, we'll just have a huge picnic up where we done the eclipse which was the second greatest experience of my life. And um, the other day, we'll have it in the center. That way, it's going to be hot that time of year. September is hot. Uh, so we're going to move into the center, center, and we'll have a whole day there, eight hours, where it's just cool, comfortable. We can chat. We can teach. We can learn. We can share and just be with each other because that's what this is really all about. It's the gathering to get her. It's the gathering together to get wisdom. So go get it with all you're getting. All right, people, you know what to do. Commit your random act of kindness. Open that door. Give that smile. Sometimes people just need to vent. And you just listening without responding or reacting can make a whole difference in a person's day. And uh, sometimes just be the ear. 
Sometimes you need to be the hand and hand out a helping hand. Sometimes you need to be the foot and go do something for somebody. And every day we can be a different part of that body to make it a living thing here. It can, it can come alive in you if you do what? Let. All you got to do is let it. All right. If this channel's helped you, won't you help me keep coming to you? I appreciate you all, and I'm grateful for every one of you.